Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> hi, hi. Welcome, 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 everybody. It's so good to be here this um, evening. So, Tobia Shane is in the house. See me acting as if it's not my husband. Hey, Boo Boo. Hey, hubby. <laughs> okay, so he's going to be joining me live now. So, you want to be on standby, grab your popcorns as always. And a drink. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're ready to have some fun this afternoon and open your hearts and your mind to everything that we'll be sharing today. Okay, so let me just get right into it and get my amazing husband on here. Alrighty. Babe, can you please just make a request? Send a request. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing awesome. Okay. <laughs> so just before he comes on, just enjoy some gallery from Mr. Ashane Day and Mrs. Ashane Day and Terenio Lua Ashane Day. Hi, everybody. Toby, I'm waiting for your request. Okay. Beautiful. Yes, he's coming on now. So we're all going to be seeing him shortly. So how are we all doing today? Beautiful. Hey, hey. Hey, husband. How are you? Hey, how are you doing? Nice to be here. Nice to have you here. How's it going? You're just upstairs, are you? Say hi. Shout out. <laughs> Beautiful. How is everyone doing today? Thank you all so much for joining us today. We're going to be having a swell time. You know, it's amazing how... You know, we all start a business and it's all about that business. So today we're going to be talking about how to basically touching on entre the entrepreneurial journey of a husband or a wife. So it doesn't mean that you actually run a business. You could also have just an entrepreneurial mindset. You know, a few, a few days ago, it just occurred to me that, man, this journey is not easy, especially for married couples, especially in this lockdown. So I can't even begin to imagine if you have your closest person in your life who is not, you know, celebrating you, who is not nudging you forward, who is not your biggest cheerleader. So we're going to be touching so much on, you know, our journey today, myself and my beautiful, my handsome, my amazing husband right here. Um, for all those that don't know, my name is Buki Ashende and I am the beautiful founder of Bella Africana an amazing community platform that empowers creative entrepreneurs in Africa. And I am so excited to be doing this with you. I'm excited to be sharing, you know, a piece of my husband with you today, you know, and also sharing about our entrepreneurial journey. So thank you so much for joining us today. And I will just allow my husband to say a few words. First of all, let me just let you know that I can talk for Africa. So if it seems as if I am just talking and I'm not allowing him to talk, you can just leave a comment in the comment section so that I know that you are listening. Okay? Got you. Hey, baby, go ahead. All right, thanks. Um, all right, so my name is Tobias Shende. Um, I run a company called Digital Marketing Skill Institute. I have um, other businesses I run as well right um so we help people uh, we train people on digital marketing but my core businesses are just they are all surrounding digital uh digital marketing right um i think uh this um conversation today right i think it's something that it's very very important and i think that's why when uh, my wife shared it with me i i, I found please it as beautiful something, say a beautiful wife please, please something please my, be my beautiful, beautiful wife right I, I found it i found it as something um 
something important to to do right and I, and i also must say that i mean it's not just about business even if it's career i mean people could still build empires in their career right and they can also build um even in their business so what what we're going to be talking about is is really just trying to advise I, i mean we still have a long way to go we still have a long journey ahead of us but there are some there are some lessons that we've learned um uh along the way so far that we feel that it could help people out there right and it it, it starts from even before we got married and and also um i will hand over to my beautiful wife right to Thank to you. to <laughs> to take over okay awesome thank you so much for that uh thank you so much for that so beautiful so let me even start with this we're going to just start with a disclaimer whatever we say today just know that we are not counselors neither are we psychologists we're going to be talking purely based on our experience so far and yes we've been married for 4 years plus now sorry we've been married for 5 years to be precise we've been married since 2015 december 17 2015 so this is 5 years in journey and our businesses are about that age too So let me just give you a brief background about how we met. Babe, should I should I should I say it or we say it? We say it. We say it. Should I say it? Should I say it? Say it? <laughs> no, okay. you can you can you can, you can, you can go on and share. Okay, you can go on and okay, share. Okay. 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 So we met exactly um so we courted for 2 years. So let's just say we met 7 years ago. We were both based in the UK. We studied there and all of that. We moved back to Nigeria in 20 in 2012. Amazingly, we were born in the UK but we never met ourselves. So our destinies crossed when we moved back to Nigeria. Isn't that amazing? Even after my mommy pulled my ears and said, "Padawale, there's so much opportunity." At that time I was like, "Oh my god, forget that." But hey, I moved back and the very first event that I went to, which was um thanks to my NGO push um charity, you know, that's how I met this amazing man. Long story short, I went for NYSC, you know, he was all up in my DMs and shooting shots. She was she was this is somebody. <laughs> But uh, please please please. Yes, uh, I had um and I had NYSC crush then. We'll get to that just but yeah. So anyways, few years after, you know, he also had a babe then, so please don't even try and be like that. So anyway, <laughs> fast forward to like a year or so after. You need more of the gist. There's just going to be so much gist that I don't even know how I'm going to just continue. But let's just keep going, right? So, fast forward a few years after. That was how, you know, I was actually with a friend in Ikeja City Mall. This was after like a year break we hadn't spoken to each other. You know, I was at Ikeja City Mall with a friend. It's very first time in my life that I watch a movie in the cinema in the morning because my friend was going back to the US and we just wanted to catch a quick movie before she goes. So after the movie, I just say, "Ha, this guy that has been trying to toast me for a while. Let me just hit him up and everything." And lo and behold, guys, guess what? I was downstairs in Kaja City Mall. If you know in Kaja City Mall, I was in Assorted, or what's the name of that restaurant. And as I called him, guess what, guys? He was upstairs. He was having a business meeting with some guy like that on some business idea and everything. Ah, I was not like that. Okay, I'm coming upstairs to crash the whole um the whole meeting. And long story short, people people we were basically unbreakable we've, we've been unbreakable since that very moment you know people have advised us that see all these waka waka all these five and five and six things are always going everywhere together just like the interview that we watched yesterday with them um, was it said god and um that beautiful lady the advice one of his advice was that don't take any advice from anybody bam You know, that's the honest truth. We've been unbreakable since we were dating. Fast forward now, here we are. Baby, I can't talk about all the journey, so let's get right into it. Today's theme we're going to be talking about, I just think that was what that was the first thing that came to my mind. That was the first thing that came to my heart. Dear entrepreneurial wife and husband. So the first question in your mind would be, okay, so so are you trying to say that I have to be Hey, so you know what just happened? Oh, she just enjoyed herself. Please forgive me. I'll be right back. What did you do? Please, one minute. So I know Luwa needs to be part of this. Uh, all right, all right. So, so, uh, all right. Hold on. 
It's part of the process. You're alive. You're alive, baby. You can't cry. You're a big girl. Oh, you're so good. No, 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 no. What happened? 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 All right. So let me just um, move. It's part of. It's part of it, right? Actually, when you now have uh, a baby, it's it's not easy. You have to now manage the entire process, right? But it's been an it's been an awesome um experience right so i'm sure bookie is back and and we can kick off from where she stopped okay beautiful if this didn't happen then today's story cannot be enough i know mama you want the other ear okay there you go just listen from this place yeah all right all right everyone i'm back I, I can understand. She was pained because I was here introducing myself and her daddy, and I did not introduce her. Gosh. Meet Tiranya Lua Shandy. Yes, mama. Mwah. So, as I was saying, the theme, Dear Entrepreneurial Wife and Husband, came to my mind. And immediately I called my husband. I was like, babe, we need to talk. Let's come on IG Live. Break all protocols. I understand that, you know, business is always business. People always want business as usual. Another thing they'll say is, why aren't you doing this on your personal page? Isn't this personal? Guys, this is not personal. Because the honest truth is, if your personal life is not working fine, or if you're not able to integrate your personal life with your business, you know, you might not go as fast as you want. Your heart will be so heavy. So with a heavy heart, I called him and I was like, let's do this. So here we are today, humbly speaking to everybody. So she actually called me. She called me on the phone. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so we're going to be taking some questions. We just thought about it. Like, what will a wife or a husband be asking or thinking in this kind of season right now? So we're going to be touching on those questions, and then we'll be answering based on our experience. I have to say that disclaimer again, though, please. We are not psychologists, neither are we counselors. So please do not take all of our advice. It's just based on our experience. Okay, you ready, baby? You ready? Okay, yep, so yep, yep. I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask the first question. So I'm just thinking as a wife, right? I started a journey, I started a business, and it's an amazing business, right? It's a baby. My business is my baby. So I'm now asking, I'm just wondering. What if my husband or my wife isn't entrepreneurial? That keyword entrepreneurial self can be so confusing. You know, what if my wife or my husband doesn't even have that entrepreneurial mindset? Where do I go from there? Over to you, oh. babe. All right. Uh, I knew you were going to ask. You're going to ask a hard question. Um, <laughs> all right. So, so it's not everybody that is entrepreneurial, right? But entrepreneur is something that can be learned, can be developed. Right. And I mean, I, I think it also starts from when you're getting married or when you're courting. Right. So you have to first you have wherever you're dating, you guys have to share your visions together. You have to share where you want to be, what you want to do, how you want your life to be in the next five years, 10 years and 20 years. Right. It's part of the journey, first of all, before you go married. Right. Now, when you get married and you you are the entrepreneurial person and your wife, is your your wife or your husband is not in the same boat as you right and this, so what some of the, some of the things i think that you can do is um so basically let me even say this also i mean booking this is the onset you get what i'm saying oh, yes. right she was a i want to be how to be a business i guess executive i want to work in an organization and things like that right so so i think it's something that you don't you don't force your partner right to become entrepreneurial right because you don't also want to get to a point where you you're, you're the one making a decision for that person right but you might what, what you can do is you can guide that person to become to become um, what they call it entrepreneurial so what i mean by that is for example it depends on uh, you can you can share entrepreneurial uh, stories you can share things you can get a person a bit more interested little by little without actually enforcing it on that person because there are people that they do very well when they walk somewhere right and the idea is also not to change them the idea is 
for you to be able for them to be able to support you to do what you are doing now at the other hand also it's a bit very tough when you are trying your best and you're not getting results but you believe that oh this entrepreneurship journey is the way forward and your husband is like uh my friend you better go and look for job or go and do this thing or go and do that right yeah. at the same time at that point it's a lot it's a lot more tougher and it's a lot more uh, more 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 difficult right challenging i yes. I, I would always say that i think it's more challenging yeah so i, I would also say that it, it's still it still boils down to almost the same strategy right where you are trying to do what you do and at the same time trying to educate your husband right so sometimes you try to seek um um advice from him right and and you have to also be very very careful because there's there's there, there's two things there's a difference between you trying to collect an advice but trying to get the advice that you are being given to agree with what you are doing right and whenever he gives you an advice try and experiment it and and give him a follow up to say oh look i tried this particular stuff with you discussed we discussed the other day and this was the outcome mm -hmm. and things like that and if you go that positive it starts to get more interested in what you're doing and it tries it, it starts to want to um what they call it contribute more to 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 your business right so so i think i think i think that's 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 the first that that that's that's one of the very 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 first key things so you don't want to you don't want to be like oh you have to know this no you have to do this or once in a while you get him and even sometimes if he gives an idea that does not make sense right and you feel like oh at the at first it's not going to cost you money right you can experiment it and then share the result with him let him be part of the journey let him know or let her know um, what you're doing and let 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 it be part of the journey that would that would help a lot in terms of um in terms of um, get growing his or her interest right another thing also is that sometimes if you are lost if let's say you're listening to something um uh, entrepreneurial and is in the, is is around your corner it's of you to put an ear piece in your ear just play it out loud so that i can start to hear it as well and you know so sometimes you would do like he or she would do like he doesn't they're not listening but they're actually listening so i think that's the best approach but if you're trying to enforce or you're trying to say oh this person is always thinking about career is not thinking about business you know and then there's not the part where you are doing well as an entrepreneur right you're doing better than your wife or you're doing better than your your husband, husband who is in a, who, who is in a job or who is in a career there's a temptation for you to feel like oh that person is to join you in the entrepreneurial journey and i think that um you also have to be very very careful at that because yeah he or she might excel in the long run as a career person can even become more successful than than you in 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 the career path right but you want you want to so the idea is not to change people but the idea is to inspire people that's right inspire your partner the idea is not to change your partner but it's to inspire your partner to change so you want to inspire the partner to change be let him be part of the part, part of the process right getting do something that he likes or she likes right and let her, let the person know that oh this thing is also this this thing came from that particular business right and 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 all and i think that would that would help that would that would help a lot okay Beautiful. right so so that that would that would, help, that would help a lot in terms of it but you can't you cannot force the change you can only inspire the change and i think that's what you need to do right and if if your partner uh, still insists that he wants to be in the career path wants to wants to work right what you want to do is you want to support he or she also in that endeavor right and it, and it's very very key for you to do that okay um yeah so Beautiful. i think i would uh, Baby, stop so wait. i don't think if you yes, have yes yes if, if you have a cool. bit of uh, addition <laughs> all right thank you <laughs> beautiful i'm i mean i knew that see first of all for people that are listening in eh my husband and i are both entrepreneurs so you can already imagine um the basically us reflecting on our journey mm -hmm. and just like toby rightly said you know at the beginning of this i always kept saying ask my mom ask everybody else i always kept saying when you ask me what be, what do you want to do what really do you want to do mm -hmm. because my journey has always been me being um that a manager so i would always say that oh i just want to be a, i just want to work at a company be a manager or maybe customer service this is what i think i'm passionate about i used to say that a lot so first of all my mind wasn't even really 
open. You know, when you ask me, I always say, see, I'm not, the, I'm not an entrepreneur. I don't have an entrepreneur mindset. My husband is the entrepreneur. But I have grown past that. Now I am more driven. I am more determined to make this entrepreneurship journey work. And it gets better when you do that. I was just going to add to what you said, Toby. You know, what if my husband, what if my, my wife is not entrepreneurial? The honest truth is that we all have that mindset. We just need that person to bring it out of us you could be working you could be a career person and you're an, you're an intrapreneur you know you take that person's business as your own i remember when i used to work in man at mcdonald's back in london and i was a manager there i was so passionate about my workplace that i took it upon my head to do everything perfectly so the honest truth is everyone has something that they are passionate about and you just need to listen more closely to what it is for you to be able to be part of that journey with them. So that takes me to my next question, but I think Toby has already asked it. I'll be, I mean, sorry, answered it. I was going to say, so I have the dream. I am the dream carrier. I have a big dream. And here I am, my husband over there looking at me. You know, he doesn't think my, my, he doesn't think my business or my dream is valid. You know, he's always shooting me down when I'm like, oh, oh. Especially, yes, wait, my babe. You say your own, Serena you Lua. You say your own, wait, wait. Let me talk. You know, so I was going to ask, if, what if he doesn't believe in my dream? What if he doesn't believe my dream is valid? I think you said that. You talked about us, you know, inspiring your partner to believe in you, to believe in that dream. Share small wins. Make him be involved. Encourage him to be a part of it. You know, leave seeds gradually about it. You know, I, I, like I always say, you are your biggest cheerleader. But after you is your partner before anybody else, I would not lie to you. You know, your husband or your wife is your next cheerleader because once you have that perception, once you have that mindset, right, you would already start thinking of ways that that person would be your cheerleader. You speak what you want into existence and that's what it would be because you'll be making actions towards that happening even when he's in that state. I'm so sorry if you have a partner that doesn't believe in your dream right now. I have to add to that because it, it could sound easier said than done. But the honest truth is it starts from your mindset. And obviously, God is 100% involved. But it is your actions. God is already there. He's ready to apply everything. He has given it to you. It's now up to you to do, to act on the ways that you can make it valid, on the way you can make your partner, you know, believe in your dream. Let me just go to the next question, babe. Are you, you are meant to ask me the next question now. Babe, let me be the one to open the floor now. You ask me the question. Okay. All, 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 all right. All right. So before I ask you the next question, right? Um, I want to. I just want to conclude to the fact that if your husband or your wife doesn't believe in your, in your dream, dream. right? Um, most, most times, like I said, the first thing you want to do is you want to inspire your wife. But one of the things that you want to, uh, or your husband, or one of the things that you also need to put at the back of your mind is also the fact that you have to involve your husband or your wife, right? Like I, like I explained earlier on, you have to seek his opinion on certain things, right? He will give it to you or she will give it to you. Now, where you can, dis where you can destroy whether the person is going to continue to believe in that dream is when you when you throw that advice in it, right? When you yeah. knock, when you make it that, oh, this you is knock it down. And the person is going, oh, no, you knock it off, right? That's where you're going to lose he or she. And you also want to form the habit of not using the word I, you're using the word we, right? Mm. We, right? You want to use the word I, you want to use the word we. When you come home, you're like, oh, darling, don't you, can you imagine what I, what just happened today in my business, in our business, right? We just um, closed this particular deal right now, right? I, I mean, I think it's something that we should be excited about. You also want to now yes. say, okay, you know what? You also want to celebrate your wins, right? So you want to, if, if you achieve something, you want to say, okay, you know what, babe, let's go out and have lunch. Let's go and eat dinner yes. um, somewhere. What do you feel like eating today? We, we, just, we, just, we, just, we just achieved this particular goal right now, and I think it's a good, it's, it's a good thing. So you want to use the word we. You don't want to use hi. You want, to, you want to also involve that person. You want to try as much as possible not to knock ideas of that person, what ideas of what that person is doing. If at the barest minimum, add a bit of that idea into whatever you're doing, right? And and ensure that you, what they call it. So you want to um, use the word we, our, uh, us, and things like that, right? And you want to celebrate that person. 
And if you achieve something, if your business is doing something, an event or something like that, you want to recognize it as a team effort, right? Because whether you like it or yes. not, it's actually a team effort. And that's the reason why you seek for that that additional um, blessing, right? So if you have questions, please put it in the comment area. Yes. I'm sure we are enjoying this. Enjoy it too. Let us know yes. you're having a, you're, 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 you're excited. You're enjoying it. Yes. Oh, all right. So let me give you a very difficult question. No, it's easy. Don't worry. Right? They, so they what's your best advice for balancing work and love life? Say that again. I didn't hear you. Your best advice for balancing your work and love life. My best your Business best and love. For business and love. How do you balance business and love? Okay. Hmm, babe. You just, you just had to throw it at me. Why? Why are you like this? Okay, so, you know, like my wise uh, mentor once said, Mrs. Iniabin Bola, she always says that it's not about balancing. Do we really get to balance? She always says it's about integrating. So, you ask, how do we, how do we integrate your business life and your love life? The honest truth is that hmm, the first person here or the main person here is you. So, the question is, analyze how are you doing yourself so when i talk about love life you're talking about so me and you for instance you and i right you know we're talking about our marital life our love life and then i will now come to our um business life so now when you talk when when it comes to the love life you know i have to listen more so listen to you know what 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 really makes you happy in this marriage where am I lacking behind, you know, from different, I, I'm sorry for the people that are PGs under 16 here, but we're talking sex life, we're talking love life, we're talking food, we're talking, you know, making sure the kitchen front is, is doing well, making sure all the, all the fronts are doing well. So it's about analyzing the things that you're doing and making sure that you keep that bucket of love does not go down. It's always filling you know, it's always feeling as opposed to depreciating because the honest truth is once that front, taking you and I as an example, we are one of the key things that we do. I mean, our marriage hasn't always been rosy from the, from the onset. We've had our challenges. We've had a lot of external issues. We've had a lot of personal issues. Then do you remember the first year when we got married? You know, we, we, our fight was mega. You know, I kept saying, please, oh, it's not by force. This marriage is not by force. Both of us are like, you want to call it quits. You know, you know we've had that conversation, but we've, it has never come back up because we both decided that we knew the vision for our marriage. And the vision for our marriage is to fulfill purpose together. So once that was sorted, it was easier to continue to understand that not just the love life, but what is your love language? You know, you, for instance, your love, my husband's love language over here, this young, this amazing man of mine, you know, he loves quality time. He loves act of service. This man over here, he can be sitting here and you tell me, babe, can you please let me pass that remote? No, I cannot pass that remote. You are very close to the remote. Please go and pick it up. Or oh, babe, please let me switch off the lights. No, 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 no. You, I would always say you are closer to it. I will, I will literally look at the, the distance between him to that light and the distance between me to the light. But because of love, I will just get on board and say, I'll do this for you because I know that you will not complain. You will do it for me. So on this, not taking each other for granted is another thing. You know, you spoke about appreciating each other. It's super important. Now, my own, to my own love language, me, my own is word of affirmation. See, when we started, you see the way at the beginning of this Instagram live, I say, add beautiful to that name. Don't just call me oh, my, my, my wife here. No, I would say, call me beautiful wife. So I love word of affirmation, but I'm, I have too many things in my head to be feeling bad that this man is not adding the words that I want that will make me happy and, you know, you know, gingered. But so what I do is I ask for it. You know, if I come back, if I do something nice for him, I'll say, babe, what, what, uh, can't you say thank you? And he will say it. He will say it happily. Do you understand what I mean? So it's about analyzing yourself. What are your triggers and what are your feelers? What are the things that you love and what are the things that you don't love? How committed are you to that marriage to make it work? Now, once that is sorted, you will now carry that one and move it to the marital, um, to the business front. So, babe, my husband and I, I used to fight with him a lot. Because when I started, eh, when I started business, we used to fight a lot. I have to confess. 
And we used to fight a lot because, as you, as he said earlier, he's the business. My, as in, my husband is so driven. Ah, Oluwaseun, thank you, God. This man is so driven. Like he doesn't need anybody to wake him up. And I used to be the lazy entrepreneur. Like I would say, please, I need to finish my sleep. I don't need to get up in the morning. He sleeps, sleeps at 10 p.m. and wakes up at 4 a.m. He doesn't need any alarm to wake him up. He's there for his business. He's there for what he has to do. And he's so focused. So. The business front, you know, I remember when I started my business, I always say, babe, help me do this thing now. Is that not why you are my husband? Like, help me. Why do I have to do it? You, and, you know, because he actually, I didn't know that he loved me back then. No. I used to think it was just war. I used to bring on the war. Like, hey, so you cannot help me. Okay, I will come back and meet you. But gradually, he, will, he now, you know, wisely used to tell me, babe, go and learn how to do this thing for yourself. It will help you in the future. And slowly, slowly, you know, I always say, even my team members know, I will say, when people frustrate me, they help me because they frustrate me to do it by myself so that I can understand how to do it by myself. I need to not, you know, come and just destroy my mindset. Do you understand what I mean? So in that marital from babe, I'm sorry, you know that the way you two, when you take the floor, the way you two, you talk passionately. It's the way we talk. So when that happens, it's important to know for yourself, you know, to analyze those two areas of your life. Because at the end of the day, it's now integrating that personal front, that love, everything that makes you happy, that gives you peace of mind. You know, and it starts from, for instance, one of the key words is the fact that we are united. <laughs> Nothing. You know, I, I we always say, I remember our, our, our counselor when we were about to get married, he says, it's not about half and half. You're not my better half. You're my better whole. You know, it's about two holes making one it's not about you being half you know it's about you being whole in yourself do you understand and that's one of the things and i have to thank my mom for this you know my journey when i was in the uk i really thank god for my mom shout out to my mom over she's here in the comment section i love you mommy you know that period of my life while i was in london i really took time to understand who bookie was who what bookie's vision was for for the future i had i could have easily been pregnant and had a i could have easily been a baby mama i could have easily gone astray but i had a very good foundation so i had found myself at a very very good age babe by the way congratulations well done i know you always tell me but well, you married a whole woman a woman who understood her purpose in this life who did not need another man to affirm that she was made for a purpose on this earth i didn't know what it was then or you know in likes of business and everything but i knew that as a person whoever married me at that point i was going to contribute to his life he wasn't you know he was going to do his own part but i planned to contribute when we started in business it looks like i, I was not <laughs> you were very lucky. I mean, not like to you. You know, when we started in business, I struggled so much, guys. I struggled. I remember my first year in business, I could not pay salary because I didn't understand my model properly. I was testing a lot. As in, sometimes I get emotional. My husband would pay for my, my, my salary, my, 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 what's it called? My team members, my staff, he would pay for it. He would say, babe, here's the salary because I believe in your dream. You know, it's, it's, it's just so many things like that. Do you understand? And understanding, looking back, when you have both journeys, look back to always remember your humble beginnings. I will stop here, babe, so that you can take back the floor. Go ahead. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I mean, you said you said quite you said quite a lot. Um, I just want to add that I mean, one of the things that I think has really really helped us is the fact that we intentionally take time out to 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 spend on each other. We we have we have a ritual that we try to travel every Christmas, right? And we save up for that, and we we achieve that just to be able to ensure that we renew ourselves. And it's travel. not just all. It, it's so not it's not just time. all. Work. It's not just it's not all just walk 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 right we also um spend time like some days we just be driving home i just say babe let's just stop here and just eat or my wife or your or bookie will just say oh let's stop here let's just have something you know so that whole experience of of taking time out having a bit of chill time there are some days that we just decide to say okay you know what some weekends oh yeah let's off everything anything uh walk laptop turn it off and we just spend the time together, chill together. I mean, things have changed a little bit right now since we have our beautiful daughter, right? Yes. A little bit, right? But, but, but we still try to, we still try to, 
uh, make time for each other and things like that. I think that in itself is very, very important because sometimes when you are, I mean, for us, it's quite very, very strange because we work together, we work together in the same office. We, we are almost always together. So it's a very, very tough one for you to sustain it. And the way we've been able to manage that is basically we've been able to um, create time off work where we, where we spend um, time with each other. And if she needs to spend time with her friends, I don't disturb her. If I need to spend time with my friends, she doesn't disturb, she doesn't disturb me, right? And all. So, I, so I, think, I think that in itself, it's, it's something that helps in terms of also balancing um, uh, uh, the relationship as well as the business, right? Because it's a very, very key. Um, it's a very, very key part because most people, most business people, uh, most couples that go into business or they go business together, most times they struggle if they don't set boundaries, they don't spend time with each other a couple of times, and 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 all. So I think it's very, very important that that has to be very, very deliberate and has to be done uh, from time to time. Beautiful. It's my yeah. turn. My next question. So, babe, get ready for this one, though, because your your wisdom is needed here. So, my question, but what if the marriage or relationship isn't working? How do we even get to focus on this whole entrepreneurial mindset, something that you are talking about? What if it's just not working? So, it's easier to advise someone who is single, perhaps, right now, just, you know, having dating. We're not talking about you, whole of or someone who is cutting right now, say they've already, you're, they're already engaged and everything, or someone who is married. This question is for that target audience. What if the, what if the relationship isn't working? How? Because already your mindset, your mentality is already, you know, what, what kind of advice would you give to such a person? It's like I should enter the ground right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So, so um okay so this is what this is what this is what I feel right and this is my honest opinion I think that when it comes to marriage when it comes to family so many things cause issues in the house right and and when it comes to that I think business takes a back seat right and and most importantly the reason to that is because even if you're successful in business and you don't have an happy home right you would it's 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 almost some most times meaningless right so it also depends on how so sometimes you, obviously there's nothing bad in being a single mom or being divorced and things like that right but sometimes it depends on what you define as happiness what you define as success the parts on i mean true success is when you are successful in all fronts right you're successful in your business you're successful at home you're successful be your children you're successful in all in all exact fronts right so that that really is that that really that really is um what they call it that that really is where the the, the true success is right so someone is acting now we're in different location <laughs> right no, so she's down says i'm up all right all right so back, back, to, back, 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 to the, back to the question right so so I think that I mean the the, the family takes uh, the marriage takes the front burner, right? Especially when it comes to that. So at that point, you also have to take some time to really understand what what is causing your family or what what's causing the issue in your family. On the other hand, I think that from day one, for every business, we should be thinking about how to put structures in our business so that when we don't have enough time to concentrate on the business, right? We are. We, we our business doesn't suffer, right? So we want to ensure that we learn how to delegate. A good leader Systemic is someone that knows how to delegate and manage resources, right? So you want to be sure that you know how to delegate. You want you know how to build a good a team that you that that would be a powerhouse for you, even if you have to take three days or four days off and things like that, right? In order to be able to take care of your family and to be sure that things are working. Now, yes. when when we look at family issues, right? I mean, different things causes family issues. Some could be communication. Some could be because, I mean, like I said earlier on, especially when, it, when you are running business, especially for those that their husband or their wife is working and they are running business on the other hand, right? And you are doing very well in your business, right? You have the, you have, you have, you have, you have the issue, you have the area where you, 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 have, you, have, the, you have the area where um, 
they can be they can be issues because you are always you you feel very the person that is more successful feels very very self centered right feels like oh mm. it is high after i have the one doing this i have the one doing that and that goes back to what i said earlier on about the use of we right yes. so he has he has he has to be right yeah 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 he has to be we he has to be this is what i this is what this is what i this is what we we are going to be doing together. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? This is all yes. doing it together. So it's, it also starts. It also starts. It also starts from the beginning, right? That you have to walk. You have you have to be ready to ensure that you are also trying as much as possible to also respect each other's opinions, respect each other's stand, right? Like I said earlier, or you can't force your partner. You can only inspire your partner, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to respect each other's points, right? You want to respect if you want to respect each other's opinion. You want to respect each other's space. You want to, even though you are working together, you are, you are living in the same space. You want to respect each other's business. You understand what I'm trying to say? So it's very, very important so that you are, you can have. And communication is also the bedrock. Sacrifice is very, very key, right? Yes. So in the first place, you might not, you might not be sacrificing and things like that. Now it's a two-way thing because you also have the person where um, I'm a business person. Sometimes I'm like, I'm staying in the office till nine o'clock, right? I'm staying in the office till ten o'clock before I go home and things like that, right? And sometimes you are, and, and the other person is like, okay, so you don't have enough time for me again. You are always doing this, you are always doing that, and mm -hmm. things like that, right? So one of the things yes. you want to do also is that you see, you can't, you, like, like Bookie said earlier, you might not be able to achieve extract balance, exact balance, but you want to ensure that you do what you need to do. And in the mix of it, you want to ensure you create time for each other, right? Entrepreneurship journey as husband and wife is very, very difficult. But when you create time for yes. each other, it's it's it's, it's it a win. It's work. a win, right? So that person feels like, oh, you're always going to work. You're always you come back late. You're tired. You just go straight to bed. Tomorrow morning you wake up. We don't even spend time together and all those things like that. Then different other ideas starts to come in and things like that. So you want to create time for each other so it doesn't get to the point where there is an issue, right? So creating time for each other is very, very important. Communication, very, very key at all, right? So let me just jump into one question that I saw earlier on, right? Someone asked, uh, what if I'm into business? How do I undo negative comments? How do I neg how do mm. I undo negative comments? So, so for example, when it comes partner, from your spouse, babe. Mm. Right, you said it's oh, I, I just had goosebumps. goosebumps. Sorry, babe. I just had goosebumps about that because for someone like me, for instance, oh, oh, and you know oh, oh, this, oh, right. you know, I, I and you know this because I'm a word of affirmation person. I'm the kind of person that I would rather you slap me than you know you shoot your words. You know, like they say, words can either break or mars um, break or make someone. So you know, go ahead. But I can't even begin to imagine if you are in that kind of situation right now, and I really empathize with you. Go ahead. Oh, oh, all right. So, 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 I mean, you said something, um, um, peace to me and uh, said, God, they had a conversation yesterday. And when uh, one of the advice he gave, uh, said God, he gave was don't listen to advice, right? Mm. And, and you know, one of, one of the things that in terms of as entrepreneurs is the fact that you, I mean, I know some people, their word is love language, like my wife, right? But sometimes I have to sit down and tell her the truth. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? And it would sound as if it's a, it's a it's me eating on her or it's me not wanting to support her and things like that. But one thing I know is that you see sometimes when a lot of people will say things don't work, things cannot work. Oh, what you are doing is not going to work. Your business is rubbish. Your business is you know. And it's look at you. You go here. It's one. It's one year. You cannot even buy bread. You have right. You cannot even do this and this and this, right. You, you, you get a lot of comments like that, even from people, not even your, not even sometimes, not even from your spouse. It could even be from someone, someone close to you, it could be from your friends, it could be from different things. And I think even in marriage also, and I, what I tell people is that you have to learn not to listen to bullshit, right? You have to learn, not sorry to use that word, right? You have to learn not Excuse to listen your friends. to other people, Go ahead. right? You, you have to learn to ensure that you, you, you know who you are for yourself and you know what you're capable of. And you need to continue to affirm yourself. And another thing about it is that you also have to be very, very realistic because your partner might be telling you the truth, right? Even if you think that he's being, he's, he's, saying, he's, saying, he's saying things that, that feels like as if he's not, he's not supporting your marriage, 
Oh, sorry, yeah. it's not supporting your business. Your business. You yeah. might actually be saying the truth. So you also want to yeah. self-evaluate yourself. I'm very, very sincere. I'm be very, very truthful to yourself, right? Because if you don't, if you don't, right, you would also be on the pathway to also end the relationship or end the marriage as fast as, as possible, right? So self-evaluating yourself to ensure that, okay, is this guy saying it's not? And you also have to be able to also filter out whether the person is saying the right thing or the person is doing the wrong thing, right? But it starts from knowing who you are and knowing what you're capable of and understanding how, and understanding your determination for the business. Because I think there's some people that want to uh, run businesses of their own, right? But they sleep money tonight and they expect money to come in, right? Now, your husband is telling you that, okay, this business, but now this business is not working and, and you feel like he's telling you the wrong thing right you need to be, you need to self-evaluate yourself right another thing also that you can also do is this and i and, i mean me and Buki do it a lot because me sometimes i could i could be very very harsh right and she told me say that again, say, babe, yeah, again not, I'm not, I'm not nice and the rest of it right but what i tell what i tell people is that what i tell her is i mean and, and i guess one of the things that would be i mean we've practiced is that when we are in good mood right we bring we bring we bring back that conversation right so when we when 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 there is when there is a good mood right and you also need to know the temperament of your husband or your wife all right of your partner right so you know you know when to bring up conversations that you feel like needs to be addressed that oh babe you said that uh what another thing that i i remember talking to one of my staff uh, recently and i said that the issue with a lot of people is that they ask um, ten dollar questions. They don't ask one million dollar questions, right? Mm. And I said that when 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 things happen, or when people say things, or when people do take an action, right? Most times we don't we don't we don't try to understand why that thing or why that question or why that thing came out of that particular person's mouth, right? We automatically start to crucify that person's action, the words that comes out of that person's mouth, and things like that, right? So sometimes it takes you to really understand what exactly that person is thinking of. Sometimes it even takes you to understand as, a, as, as, as married couples, to understand the, the background of your partner. How, what kind of life has that partner lived before you guys got married? Because at the end of the day, those things are things that that person is going to bring into the marriage, right? So you want to understand it. So that also allows you to understand how you should cooperate and how you should handle relationship, right? Then there's, there's nobody that is right. If you're in a relationship and you're looking for who is right, then you're going to lose out, right? So instead of you yes. um, crucifying actions, crucifying um, is uh, whatever he or your partner is saying, right? You need to understand, okay, why are you saying it? So sometimes when you're in a good mood, ah, babe, you said that uh, you said that this thing is not this thing is rubbish, or what I'm doing does not make sense, and the rest of it. But I, I just want to know. I mean, I think I'm doing my best, and I'm trying to. Right, boss. And I don't know if there's any advice you can give me this direction, but I really want to know why you said it, right? And then you will not be able to come out and tell you that, okay, so the reason why I said it is because, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very stressed at the moment. It's like I do everything in the house. I cover all the expenses in the house. And, you know, my uh, work is not going as it used to be before, right? And the rest of it. And, you know, so you cannot sit down and have a meaningful conversation because your husband might be saying that because it feels like, oh, you're not contributing or, oh, you're not doing some certain things in the house and things like that. So it's very, very important that that, that, that conversation, that conversation is, 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 is needed it's and it's hard yes. with, 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 yeah, with people. All right. All right. So yes. I would uh, go back to you, beautiful wife. Let, let, me, let me just cut in here. Yes, your beautiful wife. <laughs> so, um, the honest truth is, we have we have we have twelve more minutes before we round up this session. I mean, it's so juicy. We have so much to say. I remember my 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 staff, um, Jemima. Hey, Jemima, if you're here, shout out. You know, she was like, um, boss, can we make this a series as opposed to a, as opposed to just a one off thing? You know, if you want us to do this again, you can leave a comment and then we can think about it because we can't say everything we want to say, you know, today. However, this takes me to the next question. Thank you so much for that, babe. You know, and talking about, you, you said something about, you know, selfishness. And that's the honest truth. But the honest truth is that one person would always be more selfish than the other. It's never a 50% um, equation. It's never really like this. I'll give you a very good um, scenario, for instance. You know, when we started, I remember because I always thought that you were doing better. 
So I never thought that I I had much more to give you. Hey, mama, hold on, hold on. I always thought that, you know, you always had to be the one to give me as opposed to me giving to your business. But that's a very wrong mindset, right? And what I'm trying to say here is that, you know, even though someone, even though you are at the, let's use us for instance as an example, do you understand? So let's say I'm giving you 30% of my, you know, commitment to your, to your business and you're giving me 70% because, you know, I need that much. You know, the honest truth is it's your perception. You cannot stay in that kind of mindset. I had to reevaluate. And there was one time, do you know when that mindset changed for me, babe? When you were like, you actually said it to me. You said, babe, I'm having this event and you haven't even said, okay, what time is it? When are we going? When are we going together? Like you always say, not I, when are we going? You know, and it occurred to me that, oh my God, at every time I'm about to have an exhibition, you are there for me. You are there carrying banner. You are there setting up a table for me. You are there doing this. You are there doing that. And it just occurred to me that, oh my God, that is so true. But you know, my husband over here speaking about talking communication, my husband does not know. You know, I always say to me, babe, try and make constructive feedback so you will just give me hot hot it's not every time i can handle the heat you know so if it gives me hot hot like that it's fight let me just tell you people now me as you think i'm a sweet somebody i can be very upset i would just say ah, what is it you know the truth the truth is quite bitter sometimes but you have to open your mind to hear it i can be fighting with him but i'm listening to him i never take what he says for granted you know so it's also an understanding that you have to stay committed and you have to appreciate the other person don't ever say that you don't have anything to give Always know that there's so much to give. You can give your time. You can give your words. You can give and you, you, can, you can encourage your partner. It's not about the money. Do you understand what I mean? It's not that you don't have money, you don't have anything to get. You know, you don't know what he's doing. Go the extra mile to understand what your business, what the business of your, of your partner is or what they're passionate about. You know, I said it here, I, I, I wrote that, I was like, it's important for both of you to understand that you have to gain some level of knowledge in each other's business or what people or what each other are doing. So if it's a career person, if it's a business person, know that so that we'll be able to like us now, you know, he's a digital marketing expert. You know, he runs an institute. I had to understand the lingua. I had to understand what it was when he has his strategies in mind. You know, he talks to me, he's like, babe, hmm, what do you think about this strategy? What do you think we should do? Do, 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 do. Our relationship started to get better when I had an understanding of it. When, I, when we started this marriage thing, I, I hated conflict. Because of my personality, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a people's person. Now, thanks to my experience as a mother, I always say I'm a God person first. Forget being a people's person. I, do not, I don't want to always fight. I don't like trouble. And so my husband over here told me, babe, conflict is important because it allows us to be able to communicate properly. And he always says another thing. It's not about when you communicate and I ask you questions. What is this that you're doing? Da, 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 da. You know, it's not just, and I say, don't you trust me? It's not about trust. He always says it's about accountability. You know, trust versus accountability. He says it a lot. So be very present in your, your partner's business. Be very present, present in your partner's um um what's it called i'm sorry let me just quickly drop to any lua you know be very present in what that person is doing so babe we have seven more minutes but i'm just going to round up with oh, this oh, all right all right let, 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 let me just do my own last round up babe let me round up let me round up let me round up let us not fight online let me let, let us not fight online we have five seven minutes so let, let us just share it give me two more minutes and i'll give you the rest of the you will have four minutes yeah let me just go right into this now if you're here saying i don't have anything to give i don't i don't know what to do you know this is where i am at this is you know analyze it think deep about what you really know that you have so for me for instance when we started our marriage i will see as i am like this this bubbly bookie i've been a bubbly bookie from the beginning and i i am very charged in my spirit that i don't let anybody break it so i didn't have anything to bring to the table when we were cutting when my husband was doing well but i had optimism my husband is not the he's a very he's a realist my husband does it you know but i am always very optimistic it will 
just me having that personality my personality really helped him do better and if you're in a relationship and your partner is able to have that peace of mind they are able to move their business forward let me just stop here babe i will give you three minutes i just use one minute so take it Oh, all, all, all right, all right. So you, 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 used, you used one of my pieces now. All right. So, so I'm just going to keep it very, very quick and short, right? And um, I think that today has been very good. I think I'm encouraged to even say, let's even make this a series. So we'll talk about that after this anyways, right? All right. So what I was going to say is, you see, you see, one of the issues, and, you know, a lot of people, marriage is a two-way thing, right? And sometimes it's, it's not just about money. It's, a, it's different different so things, are... basically, right? It, it, it's a lot of different things in itself and when it comes to business right your husband might or your wife might not be showing might not be showing might not be showing um might not be showing interest might not be interested in your business because you're also not interested in his or her own business so might not be interested in your business because you're not showing interest in his or her own career so you have to show interest it's a give and take marriage is about give and take in every different yes. ways right so yes. you're interested in your husband in your wife's part and your and get your wife would be interested in yours as well right so it's about being interested in each other and 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 then the business is then you guys will grow together right so you have to find what you can give like bookie said earlier on it doesn't have to be money it could be your own optimistic or um, being being optimistic right it could be it could be encouraging words it could be different things entirely right so so you can so so the idea is give give what you can give right and ensure that you show interest in each other. Use the word we. I saw a question earlier on. Someone said, even before you marry, do you use we? When you know that you're going to marry the person, right? You, you have to start practicing you we. You have to start practicing right? it. That's yeah, the best you time. You have to start practicing we and our. You understand what I'm trying to say? But it does not necessarily mean, obviously, there are boundaries, right? There are boundaries that, needs to, that, 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 that can be in place. You understand what I'm trying to say? I mean, boundaries financially and the rest of it, right? So, yes. I mean, I guess the next question, next time we come together, we'll answer, we'll ask, we'll answer a question that says, should a marriage couple have a joint account? <laughs> right? All right. So, uh, all right. So, look out for the next series, eh? <laughs> so, are we doing this? Are we doing this, babe? Are we doing this? <laughs> eh? No, I won't I would, I would, I would say that yet, but maybe after we'll talk about it and see what happens. All right? Yes. So, amazing, right. amazing, Let's amazing, amazing. Amazing. So, wait, wait, okay, I'll ask you a question. Why are we using our um, business handles and not our personal handles? I mean, someone asked that question earlier on. So, what do you want to say before you round up? So, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, the honest truth is that, see, I have always been a firm believer of even if you're running a business. See, I, I first of all, the, the honest truth is I break every protocol on social media. I'm not about, oh, this is what you do on your business page. This is what you do on your personal page. I, I, Bella Africana is on a mission. I am on a mission, but I'm using Bella Africana as, as a tool to spread positivity, to, to empower people, to inspire people, to spread, you know, goodwill, to spread good, you know, anything that just encourages anybody out there. And I believe that the platform Bella Africana is, you know, a, a community that, a lot of people who are following us are also entrepreneurial. They're creatives. So if your mind is not right in your personal life, in your marriage, it's very hard to be able to push it forward. So that's the honest truth. It's not about this is a business page, it's not a personal page. That's not the argument for me. It is, and also we are doing, this is an IG Life series based on the fact that we are launching a platform on Bella Africa. It's a membership platform. And we are launching that on Monday. So if you haven't registered for that yet, we're having a party. But Afghana is four years in business and we're also going to be launching a membership platform. And if you haven't registered, you better go on the DM, go into our bio right now and you need to be there. So guess what, guys? This has been amazing. Amazing, amazing. Naj, you just joined. I saw you say that. If you just joined us, please, you have to watch this replay and we will be back with so much more. Thank you so much, babe, for doing this with me. God bless you. I love you. Come and take a kiss after we finish this. Mwah. 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 Any last words before we say bye-bye? All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, see you. Ciao. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much, amazing husband, for joining me today. God bless you. You know, Bella Africana loves you all so much, and I'm so grateful that you took time out to be with us today. 
thank you for for this and make sure to also let your friends know that this happened get them to come and watch a replay and thank you for joining us bye turn your say bye bye she's just there doing her own thing over there bye guys thank you everyone bye babe see you later Mwah.